Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Bodishan. We are gonna do some density lab demonstrations today. We're gonna start with dry ice, which is just CO2 or carbon dioxide. This is what it looks like. It is very, very cold. In fact, it is colder than regular ice water um, or like ice cubes. So notice I'm using tongs for lab safety. Never touch it because it can give you frostbite. And my first lab, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple chunks in a beaker with some warm water and it will begin to sublimate. So it's gonna change from a solid directly to a gas and never melt. So it's pretty cool. Notice the fog is going straight downwards instead of up. That's because that fog or that smoke that it's producing is more dense than air. So it will fall downward instead of go upward. The next demo, I have a clear bucket. I put some dry ice at the bottom with a little warm water and I waited until we have a kind of a thick layer of the fog and I'm blowing bubbles. Notice that the bubbles are hovering on top of the fog and they're just kind of floating around. That's because the bubble is filled with air and the air is less dense than that fog. So it can kind of just hover there and it looks really cool. And I'm gonna get another bubble on there and you can just see it kind of like bounce and wiggle around. Um, and that is just because that CO2 fog is very, very dense and it will definitely keep those bubbles elevated because they are less dense than it. So the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bucket of water and I'm gonna put a regular Coke and a Diet Coke in there. And you can see the regular Coke will sink to the bottom and the Diet Coke will float. That's because the regular Coke has so much sugar in it, it makes it more massive and more dense, while the Diet Coke has fake sugar and therefore is less dense and it will float because it will be less dense than water then. Water, remember, is one gram per milliliter. So here we have a lava lamp and I always like to show this one for a density demo because of how a lava lamp works. When you plug it in, there is a heat lamp at the bottom it will heat up that wax and it, the wax will go ahead and expand and become less dense because of all the expansion and it will rise to the top of the lava lamp and once it gets to the top it's away from the heat source so it's going to start cooling down and when it cools down it will start to collect or condense together that will make the wax a little bit more dense than the liquid that it's in. So it will make it slowly sink back to the bottom where again it will come in contact with that heat lamp and start the process all over again. So this is not only a great example of a density demonstration, it's also a great example of a convection current for heat as well. Thank you all for watching. Go ahead and like this video if you got something out of it. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Thanks everybody. Bye.